Welcome to the Transformational Coach Podcast with me, Rona Barton, giving you competence with confidence. In this week's episode, we're looking at make your own luck as our subject with our moving towards happiness topic. So let me ask you this. Do you believe that we actually create our own luck? And if so, what makes you think that? It's something I've been considering recently, certainly throughout the lockdown, when you look at different people who have lost jobs, changed careers, or even started their own businesses during this time. Have they just been lucky? Or have they gone out and actively sought this new opportunity? Well, I think that lucky people create their own luck to a certain extent because they actively seek out new opportunities and test out new ideas and new things in a variety of different circumstances. Sometimes they are in the right place at the right time, but it's also, for me, I think, recognising the opportunity or the chance when it presents itself. So what about you? What do you want? When you think about it and really think about it, what is it that you really, really, really want? And have you made a very specific list? When you think about your successes, what do you usually attribute that to? Is it luck or is it something that you have manifested. You have gone out of your way to be sociable with people, to make new friends, to try new um, activities and really improve your odds of being successful. Is it imagining the different steps to your success and then working out how to deal with each of those mini goals? Sometimes people believe that when you make your own luck, you do so because other people are helping you. And that can certainly be true. If you think about it, the more people you talk to, the more people you share your ideas and your hopes and your goals and your dreams with, the likelihood of them or them knowing somebody who can help you increases. If you only ever speak to yourself about what you want, how can you help yourself? Quite often we need to reach out to others, not necessarily to ask for help, although it never hurts to ask for some assistance, but just to bounce ideas from them in order to be able to say, do you know anybody who can help me with this? So what should you be on the lookout for in order to achieve the vision you have for your own life? Well, luck isn't always something that you stumble upon or that randomly happens to you. As I've said, sometimes it's more about spotting an opportunity. So why don't you just take a chance? Why not put yourself just a little bit out of your comfort zone into what is sometimes referred to as the stretch zone because you never know the true extent of your abilities until you push them. So take advantage of some positive or fortunate circumstances that come about. Believe in yourself. Allow yourself to show your versatility and go out and create your own luck through hard work. Have a think about what you need to say yes and no to in order to create more space in your life for your goals. And whilst you're being specific about what it is you really, really want, also think about what you really don't want. Sometimes doing the don'ts is easier than doing what you really want when it comes to making these lists. It's easier to say I don't want to be doing this, I don't want to be doing that, than it can be to write down the positives of what you do want. But how will you recognise a good opportunity to achieve your goals 
Or how will you recognise an opportunity to achieve them faster? What's going to work for you? Do you see the positive side? Are you also willing to accept that setbacks happen? Not everybody gets lucky the first time out the gate. Failure happens. It's part of life. I hope that if you're listening to this, you have experienced failure at some point in your life because you can learn so much from that. You can learn what not to do and you can learn what parts of your failure started off well and where you need to change them in future. Try not to let the negativity set in though and absolutely don't give up. Pull your socks up, brush yourself off and look for a different angle where you can approach your problem. Speak to people. Use a coach. Hint, hint. I'm here people. Feel free to get in touch. I'm happy to listen to what you've got to say and be a sounding board for you. So try lots more things. Try things that you've dismissed immediately. Why did you dismiss them? Go back and think about how you can use those. Meet a lot of people. Now, I know the word networking can just grate on some people. I'm not keen on the term myself. However, during these times of lockdown, as we've just discussed, people take a different angle of approach to things. And one of the things I have discovered, I will put a link to it in the show notes, is a new online networking group. You don't have to deal with walking into a room full of strangers. You don't have to worry about what you're going to say about yourself or you've got three minutes in the spotlight and you need to dazzle people. This is an online networking group for people who don't like networking. Fantastic. Love it. It's the very thing I've been looking for. I'll put a link to it in the show notes below this episode, so feel free to take a wonder over and have a little check out of the site. Okay, so what are you actually going to do this week about it? How are you going to expand your boundaries? How are you going to ask for help? The bottom line of luck is some of it you can't control. Luck, be it good, bad or indifferent, happens to all of us. But where we can control our circumstances and where we can control how we respond to those circumstances can often be the thing that people say has made us lucky. What do you think? Let me know. Drop me a message. Get in touch. Feel free to contact me on social media. I hope you've enjoyed this week's topic on make your own luck. Next week, we're going to be thinking about handling rejection. So thinking caps on for that and I will speak to you then. In the meantime, stay safe, look after yourselves and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now. 